Is Apple keeping your deleted photos? Apple's recent fix in iOS and iPadOS 17.5.1 addressing a rare issue where deleted photos reappear in the photos library due to a database corruption highlights significant concerns about data privacy and transparency. While software patches for bugs are routine, this particular issue touches on the core expectations of users that when they delete a photo, it stays deleted. The unexpected reappearance of deleted photos, some from years ago, understandably alarmed many users and raised serious questions about Apple's data handling practices. In typical operation of iOS, deleted photos are supposed to reside in the recently deleted folder for 30 days before becoming permanently erased. This process allows for accidental deletions to be recovered easily within the time frame. However, the intent behind the delete action is clear. The user wants the photo to eventually be gone for good. The emergence of a bug that counteracts this expectation, causing old deleted photos to reappear, disrupts users' trust and raises fear about data privacy. The term database corruption used by Apple in their brief explanation implies that the issue was related to some form of data integrity problem within the system's photo management database. Database corruption can occur due to a variety of reasons, including software bugs, hardware failures, or unexpected system shutdowns. This can cause inconsistencies in the data stored. In this case, it led to the resurfacing of photos that users had intended to delete permanently. The privacy implications of this bug are significant. Users trust that their deleted photos, especially those of personal or sensitive nature, are gone forever once they are removed. And the reappearance of such photos not only violates this trust, but also poses a potential risk if these photos contain sensitive content. Some users even reported deleted voicemails resurfacing, broadening the scope of the concern beyond just photos. Moreover, reports of this issue occurring on devices sold to other individuals further imply the privacy risks, as personal data from the original owner could be accessed by the new user. This scenario underscores the importance of reliable deletion processes and raises questions about the thoroughness of Apple's data wiping procedures. The situation is compounded by Apple's silence on the matter. Despite multiple requests from The Virgin and other outlets for a more detailed explanation, Apple has not provided further information. The lack of communication does little to reassure users that the problem is fully understood stood and resolved. It also raises doubts that similar issues could occur in the future. In the tech industry, responsible disclosure and transparency are critical, especially when dealing with users' data. Companies are often commended for their quick response to vulnerabilities and their openness in explaining the issues and the fixes. Apple's silence contrasts sharply with this public stance on privacy, as seen in numerous WWDC keynotes and marketing materials. By not addressing the problem publicly and transparently, Apple risks undermining the trust it has built around the commitment to users' privacy. A reasonable customer expects that when a file is deleted, it is indeed deleted. While it's technically true that data is only fully gone when overwritten, the practical expectation is that deletion means that the data is no longer accessible. Apple's marketing heavily emphasizes user privacy, which makes instances like this particularly damaging to their reputation. Mistakes and software bugs are inevitable, but how a company handles them is crucial. By providing clear communication and reassurance, companies can maintain user trust even when things go wrong. Apple's current approach, however, leaves users feeling uncertain and insecure about their personal data. In conclusion, Apple's handling of iOS and iPadOS 17.5.1 update and the underlying bug raises critical questions about data privacy and transparency. Users deserve clear explanations and reassurances that their data is handled securely and that when they choose to delete something, it stays deleted. For a company that prides itself on privacy, Apple needs to step up and address these concerns directly and transparently to restore users' trust. Have you had any of your photos resurface? If you had, comment it down below. But if you did learn something, don't forget to like and subscribe.